My name is Chuck Parker. I'm a publisher of Automotive Digest and Dealer Digest Daily. We are here at Las Vegas with the NIADA Convention 2013 with our editorial and videographer teams. So in the next few minutes, Ted Roberts, who is managing editor of Dealer Digest Daily and myself, are going to share with you some of the insights and some of the observations that have occurred in the past two or three days at this convention, significant convention, for independent dealers staged here in Las Vegas. Independent dealers are adopting the use of smartphones and social media into their sales process. Now dealers need to develop staff that masters this technology. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're on. Okay. So another topic that was being discussed here at NIADA is social media. Uh, again, it's not really a new topic, but it is one that the dealers are very curious about and one that a lot of dealers are doing a lot of work around, but there are still questions. I, you know, I, I like to say that the importance of social media is still sort of emerging. Most independent dealers are doing something in the social media space. Some are doing quite a bit, but uh, there's still, you know, there's still a bit of learning. There's still a bit of figuring out, like, you know, how many likes does it take to equal a sale? How many likes does it take to equal ten sales? Uh, another thing that was discussed uh, is the importance of training. It's absolutely mission critical for dealerships, independent dealerships especially, to make sure that the people who are working for them are on the same page as they are, that they understand what the dealership's about, what the goals are, and that they can communicate effectively uh, to those customers who walk in the door. 